Okay, hi, I'm Geodav, and in this set of videos, what we're going to do is have a look at how to set up a custom character in UDK, but remembering we're setting this up to be used with the UT game code, which is quite relevant. Okay, if you're not using the UT game code, you're going to have to do probably quite a bit more work. Alright, so the first thing what we're going to do is have a look at the material. Well, okay, we'll look at the textures first. Alright, so open your CH GeoBodge package. Now, if it's greyed out like this, just right click on it, fully load, and that'll get everything in. Now, let's just have a quick look at the textures. Now, I'm going to make this a bit smaller so we can see everything. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, as you can see, the textures are named quite specifically. Now, what I've done here is actually maintained the system that Epic used for UT3. Now, whether that's still relevant, I'm not 100% sure, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Now, one of the things you need to watch when you're importing your textures, uh, let's just open this up in the texture viewer right, make that a bit bigger because we're going to need to show you something okay now we've imported a basically what we call a 2k texture and this is the diffuse texture and when you import it make sure you set the LOD group to character okay you get lots of choices here but if it's a diffuse texture, you want it set to character. If it's a specular, set it to specular. And if it's a normal map, set it to normal. Well, character normal maps. Now, so don't forget that. It is very important. Now, if you've got things like uh, the emissive and anything else, just set them to the character LOD group okay now if we go into the materials you will see this is an old version where it used to automatically flatten it showed the flattened ones I don't know how to get rid of that but what we're looking at here at the moment is the MICH GeoBodge base material instant constant now you might think well why has he got this the reason is if you don't your materials are not going to show up in game and all your messages will be running around and you won't be able to see jack okay so what what we do here is you just make well let me just close this down because this little bit gets important you just make yourself a brand new material instant constant Alright, we go to parent. Alright, we need a parent material, not an instant constant, but a, a material. So we go find that. There we go. In, double click it again. It will open up. Sometimes, I don't know, we're in recent versions of uh, UDK, you're having to actually double click on one of these preview icons twice to get it to open up now I'm just going to very 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 quickly show you this now if you want to know what it all does then load it up dig in it and dig into it it's in the CH all materials MCH all base 02 now if I just zoom into little bits here and there thankfully a lot of it is annotated so what it's doing here obviously this must be something to do with damage some overlay character distance sat range we'll see something about that in a few minutes switches diffuse move out a bit reflection we saw there BO rifle and death emissive death setup all sorts of things, character side, side light offset, 
to do with lighting, specular, spec power, transmissions, opacity mats. All this is set up, yeah, so that you have one base material, okay, which you can then make your other materials childs of. So you can have everything set up, set your parameters up and everything else, and then just go for gold. Not a very good description, <laughs> I, I admit, but it's about the best I can do for this lot at the moment. Now if we follow out the the normal, all right, we're following, 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 it's going way over there, and it goes straight into there, character normal. But you've got all these other bits, all right, side light normals, where's that going? Going up there to a multiply in there, they're going over there, down there, into static switches, and they're going into an emissive and the opacity map. Why? Dunno. <laughs> but this is something, this will be your base material, yeah, which you then parent to your base, well, that's the base material, and you parent it, your base material instant constant to it, okay? Now, what you can do here is have, or what you should be doing, is having a different material instant constant base for each of your family classes. This makes things a, look a little bit different for each one. Why? Because in the parameter groups, uh, this used to be, in earlier versions, this used to be split into texture parameters and scalar parameters. You can open this up and you can start setting things. Uh, at the moment, it comes with placeholders. Yeah. All placeholders. But in here, you've got the character, distance, saturation, range, saturation, range, multiplier, saturation, bias. I think that's distance. That's what I'd say. But could be something different. But you can change these values to give your family of characters a slightly different looks without actually going back in and changing your textures. Okay? Because artists don't like things like that. So we do it in here. All right, side light offset, spec power high, spec power low, spe specular multiplier, now all things like that. Transmissions, transmissions, masks, multipliers if you want to use it. So you can activate them, deactivate them, and just go for that. But bear it in mind that compared to older videos, these settings are all in the parameter groups now. Okay. So what, let's go back to our GeoDAV bod if I can find him. Oh, we go. In the materials. Now, if you, if you look in, inside this package, you will actually see we've got lots of materials, which is pretty much the set all as let's see just pull this up here all right so you got your main material the uh, material character all base 02 which is then parented for, to this one and this one is then parented to that so parent child child putting it correctly okay now you'll notice here that this one has actually got a suffix of V01. Now, this is quite possibly a legacy from the UT3 code. Uh, the V01 materials were used for the uh, single player deathmatch. Now, if we just have a quick look at. Uh, let's go for that one here. You'll see the name of this. Oh, it's up on the top, but you'll be able to read it here better. Material instant constant character geobodge body 01 V red. Now, in UDK, we're actually setting this all via code. Okay, 
so whether you need to still have the V red or if you look here the V blue and V01 suffix I'm not 100% sure okay but better to be safe than sorry that's the way I look at it so once you, you made your let's say V01 material then you go in you parent it to the uh, geobodge base and then you can actually start putting in your textures and if you wish to change these values and obviously you can tick them and change them per material and not per family if, if you see where I'm coming from okay the one other little thing that another legacy thing from uh, UT3 is just the naming on the actual textures just to make sure things don't go wrong again here we have the the v01 suffix but where another suffix added on to that is sk1 now this is something we had to do in ut3 whether we still need to do it now i like i say i can't say 100 percent but i think that was due to the materials and texture sort of combining system that they used in UT3 but obviously the SK1 in this case would be skeletal mesh 1 now if you're using multiple skeletal meshes or multiple parts it might be an idea to, to name these sort of like SK2, SK3 possibility? don't know right anyway that's pretty much at the moment just for the material setup. I think I've covered everything. And don't forget, make sure your normal maps are actually imported LOD group character normal map. Yeah. Now, if you look at that one and you look at this one and you're like, oh, what's wrong with that? Doesn't look very good. But if you see things like that, that you're not too sure make sure you go in and check that your compression settings are TC normal map your LOD group is character normal map why it looks different I don't know maybe I messed something up on importing let's just double check on that one TC normal linear yeah that's fine right what we'll do is let's see we've got that all covered your base and you, you can see in these details uh, when when it's highlighted this one's parented to this one's parented to and like I say you really need this sort of stuff in there I'll just make sure I'm on mirrors materials you really need I can't emphasize enough that when you're starting off and you're using the UT game code as a base on the learning principle you need this base material instant constant because like I keep on saying if your meshes are not appearing or they might be running around but you can't see them chances are you haven't done this and you haven't set it in the code now we'll be doing the code a little bit later but I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible just so that you can go in and say yeah I want to see what it is on the materials what I need on the mesh and the other bits and pieces okay so we'll leave it at that and I'll catch you later bye bye now get me off button come on there we go bye bye